you suspect by any chance that someone is planning to kill or destroy you in the spiritual realm and you say I hand everything over to God you will be there and the person will kill you yeah the person will kill you and after killing you the person will go to the same church that told you let my enemies leave and see what I would become because the same Bible told the person that Jesus will forgive over and over again remember forgive 70 times 7 in a day so the person will use the same mindset after dealing with you after destroying you after killing you they will go back to the same church to confess their sins before the priest do you know that the priest will also say in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit go your sins are forgiven now what about you that was killed what about you that was destroyed your case your earthly mission must have ended yet the person has repented his or her sins will be forgiven i am telling you this based on the scripture the bible I'm not telling you this the traditional way the Igbo tradition or the African tradition that says ifonye metalo or willisiabulu whatever you have done whatever sin you've committed whatever atrocity you've committed you will carry with your head ifonye metalo or willisiabulu if you've wronged somebody the olden days is that you will have to go back to the person you confess to the family if the person is no longer there and they wallow if it has to do with human blood you must pay for it but everything the scripture said whatever sin you've committed come back it will be forgiven now what am I trying to say? If you notice that somebody is trying to eliminate you and you keep quiet and allow the person to kill you, the person will still repent. By then, you are gone. Life goes on. <laughs> Hello everyone. My name is Oma. You're welcome to this great channel of ours. If this is your first time of joining here, you are welcome. If you've been an old subscriber, I truly appreciate you. Thank you for your support. I do not take it for granted. Let's go straight to the business the topic of today. If you suspect, now this ritual is not something that is for everybody. It is for only people that believe. It is not for everybody, like I said. You must have the belief that this will work for you before it will work for you. This is exactly what you're told in church. Yes, if something evil happens, then it is the will of God. But when something good happens, then we give thanks and praises to Jesus and to God. I'm categorically telling you that you must believe in something before it will work for you. Your belief and spiritual work works hand in hand. It works together. Reason whatever you believe in works for you. Reason I would never tell anybody that Jesus is not real. I would never tell anybody that Jesus is not real. Remember, I have been saying this on this channel. Jesus works for people that believe in him. But I have to tell you categorically that Jesus is not my ancestor. I believe in the people that shed their blood for me to be here. 
I believe in the people that discovered the food I eat today. That does not mean in any way that I do not believe that there is the existence of Jesus. They are two different things altogether. If you notice that someone is after your life or any of your family members, or maybe your life is in misery, buy me a knife. Hold it on your left hand. It could be smaller than the one I'm holding. Get me alligator pepper. Put seven seeds of alligator pepper inside your mouth. Get me a maca. A maca. Alright? Now, come to the first side. The first side of the, of the knife and write your name in full. Turn to the, the second side, the, the other side of the knife and draw the sign of the cross. Three into three places. You have the alligator pepper in your mouth. You start speaking. Whoever that wishes you dead, whoever that wishes you to die untimely, whoever that is causing your life to be in misery, whoever that is bringing you shame, whoever that is trying to kill you, to destroy you, to make you useless. When this ritual is going on, you must have cleared your mind from anybody that is that you're not happy with. Don't wish anybody evil. Ensure that your hand is clean. Your heart is pure. Then start speaking. As long as you know that your hands are clean and this ritual is taking place. You start speaking. As you are as you are speaking, you will be stating that whoever that is wishing you evil, that is born on a key, ori, for uncle, wishing you pain, agony. May all that they wish you return to them in hundred folds. After stating that. As you are saying it will be chewing the alligator pepper. After saying that, you spit the alligator pepper that you've chewed on the knife. To, from today, you are commanding this knife to fight for you. And whatever they send to you, may this knife return it back to them. Spit the alligator pepper three times on the knife. Three, three times. When you are done. Go to your backyard, go and bury this knife. When you are burying the knife, dig a hole, okay? When you are burying the knife, make sure that you put the knife like this and bury it. This ritual is going on. Ensure that nobody is around you. Ensure that you tell nobody where this knife has been buried. Ensure that you, you nobody is aware. Bury it there. Let it go. Let it be there. You will see what will happen. I'm telling you, let the earth fight for you. Have you ever wondered why they add knife and broom inside the coffin when someone who is suspected to be killed at an early age is being buried? Let's leave it here. If you know that you don't have mind, please don't do this this in the night when nobody's watching you as well do it and see what will happen okay all right guys thank you very much for watching god bless you all and see you guys in my next one